chill computer guy. Today we're in Bitwig Studio. We are going to talk about MIDI channels. Yes, MIDI channels. This is something that was added in Bitwig 2.4. It's a new thing. It's in its infancy. And let me tell you, uh, nowhere to go but up with MIDI channels. MIDI channels are very exciting. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with them. Um, if you like to build your entire song on a single MIDI loop, um, you can do that with MIDI channels. For example, I'm going to show you well, right here. You can see we built our bass line, our chord progression, and our top line melody all on the same MIDI clip. And who doesn't do this from time to time? This is actually a really good practice to get into as far as kind of building the root of your song, making sure everything's going to fit together and um, you make sure you're in the right key, make sure you know the, the timing's right and stuff. And so I actually encourage uh, building your, your bass, your chord progression, your melody all on the same MIDI clip. But in the past, you, 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 know, you just had to build it with notes there, and then you had to copy and paste these into different MIDI lanes. Not anymore. Now we have MIDI channels. Now, you have to be into layered editing here. Also, it's very important to have the inspector panel open. Okay, That's going to tell you what note is on what channel. It's also going to allow you to change the channel that that particular note you have selected is on. Now up at the very top you have your clips which is just like it always has been which is a new option you have a new option channels. Now if you click on that what's going to happen is I've already put these uh, MIDI notes in different channels here and you can see a list of the channels to the left. Now you can have up to 16 different MIDI channels and every single MIDI channel has its own individual color. Unfortunately as of yet we cannot name these MIDI channels and we cannot change the color of these MIDI channels. Everything's kind of built in for now, but I'm assuming as Bitwig Studio progresses with new uh, future updates, eventually I'm guessing you'll probably be able to name these. You'll probably be able to select whatever color you want. You know, maybe that way your, your bass line is blue, your top line melody is red, and maybe your chord progression's, you know, green or orange. Now, most everybody has a workflow or a specific color they use for, for certain parts of their song. So as of yet, you can't change the color of these or you cannot name these, but I'm guessing with future up, updates, eventually you'll be able to name these and change these to any color you want. That's what I'm hoping and that's what I'm sure will happen. But as you can see, what we've done is we've put our, our bass, all of our bass notes down here. We've put those in uh, channel six and uh, our chord progression, we've put in a separate channel and all the inverted notes I actually put in a different channel. And why I did that is probably what I'm going to do is going to go with your, my original triads and then put the uh, original triad on a fourth channel. That way I can switch between. Now you can see that my top line melody is on a whole separate channel. Okay. Now how this works is uh, you have to click on a note and in the inspector, it's going to show you all the information about that note, but then we have a new drop down under channel. Okay, and that's how you switch what channel the note is on. For example, this note's on channel one. I can use this drop down, select any one of the 16 channels. If I want to put it on channel 15, there it is. It's on channel 15 now. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to channel one. So that's how you switch which channel your note is on and you can just you know lasso a bunch of notes and it says mixed here you can put them all on channel 11 let's say there you go now you have a bunch of notes on channel 11 we're going to go ahead and control z that so that's how you select which channel the note is on now also we can edit the different channels over here on the left and so this is very similar to layered editing so you can click on whatever channel you have clicked on you can see that little pin tool is highlighted and now if you start painting in notes you're going to paint in on channel 4. Okay let's say I want to paint in on uh, channel 8 I go down to channel 8 start dialing in notes here and now I'm on channel 8. So whatever channel you have selected is going to be the channel you're going to paint in. So that's how that works. And so that way you know you can you can you know put in your bass notes and then switch to another channel, put in your chord progression, switch to another channel, put your top line melody in, maybe switch to another channel, do some uh, variation, you know, so you can put all this the amount of information that you can have on a single MIDI clip now is is pretty powerful. Now down below here at the bottom you have a drop down menu and this is going to this is going to be how you view your channels. Now right now it's on all channels. You do have three options. You have selected channels, meaning that it's only going to show the channel you have selected. For example, there's channel 1, 
channel four, channel six, and you'll see everything else is kind of ghosted out, but whatever you have selected is definitive and very bright and very colorful, and so you can tell very easily what channel you're on. Now you also have the option to entirely hide them, you know, if you don't want to see anything but what you have selected. That's actually um, very powerful as well. This is actually what I prefer, is this way of working. But just know that you have three different options. You can show all your channels, or you can only show the channels you have selected, okay? Or you can go right in between where the channels that are not selected are ghosted out and the channel you have selected is bright and vivid. And so that's basically how you put notes onto separate channels and how once you have a note in, you can select what channel that note is in. And then of course, if you wanna just go back to clip mode, you can see all your notes. It's pretty powerful, the fact that you have different MIDI channels within the same MIDI clip. And so that's one way to use the MIDI channels. Now, another way to use them, which is what I was just experimenting with a minute ago, is with a drum loop here. But what I did here is I put my different drums on different MIDI channels. How do you switch between those MIDI channels? Uh, how do you filter those MIDI channels out? I'm glad you asked. You need to use what's called the channel filter. Now, this is a new device that was introduced in Bitwig 2.4, and this is basically how you control what MIDI channel is getting through to your instrument. It's very, very simple. Um, everything is grayed out, okay? If I click on this, it turns white. That means that channel one is going through to the MIDI device. Now you can see channel one, that's gonna be all these, uh, the red notes here. And you can see on the left, you can kind of get a key of what color represents what channel. Um, and that is, is pretty useful. Like I say, it would be great. And I'm hoping that in the future we can name these uh, MIDI channels. That would be uh, pretty powerful, super duper. Um, but for now, we just have to rely on numbers and colors. If you uh, have a note in here and you're not sure what channel that's on, like there's this weird kind of, we have a purple down here and then we have kind of a blue purple up here. And you're like, oh my God, what channel is this? How am I going to know? I mean, I could kind of tell, I guess that's channel seven, but I'm not sure. If you click on it, this is why I recommend having your inspector open. If you click on it, it'll show you right down there in the channel drop down. This is channel seven. So you know, if you turn on just channel seven, and play your MIDI clip, you're only going to hear that one note. Let's check this out. How nice is that? Okay, again, let's look down here. We'll click on it. That's, uh, that's MIDI channel 8. Let's go ahead and turn on 8. How cool is that? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the loop and I'm gonna slowly turn on the MIDI channels. Check it out.
So, you know, remember back in the day, you had to click on the solo button and then you had to hit control solo, control solo, and that's the way you could, you know, bring drum parts in and out. I mean, or you could highlight them and hit the mute the notes or whatever, but... But having the channel filter is is uh, is really cool. I really, really love this thing. And like I say, it's very, very early on. They just added this in uh, 2.4. And I'm pretty excited to actually see what they do with this. Um, another quick little tip here is when you highlight the note, if you don't want to have the inspector open, let's say you want the inspector closed, when you highlight the note, Use, you'll see this pin tool up here, and you'll see it automatically highlights what channel you're on. So if you keep your eye on that pin tool, you can see I'm on channel 2, I'm on channel 4, I'm on channel 5, channel 7, down here is channel 8, up here is channel 6. You can just tell by simply using that pin icon, and then that's, of course, how you switch between the channel. Like I say, it'd be great to be able to double-click and, and rename these MIDI channels, and I'm guessing that that will eventually probably, uh, um, you know, be implemented in a future update. And another thing is also you have three options. You can show all the channels. You can show just the selected channels, which is kind of nice. So if you want to just see the channel selected, that's nice. Or the third option is to see all the channels, but the one selected will, you know, be a, uh, a full opacity. All the other notes, the notes not selected will have a lower opacity, or you can just hide them all together, or you can just choose to see all notes at once. So that's pretty much how the uh, channel filter works. That's pretty much the cut and dry of how the channel uh, filter works and how MIDI channels work here in Bitwig Studio. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have a part two where we're going to talk about the channel mapper, um, which is also uses uh, the new uh, MIDI channels feature. And uh, that's another powerful tool for kind of uh, mixing up your MIDI. That's how the MIDI channels work here in the new uh, Bitwig Studio 2.4 update. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Remember, these tutorials are not for beginners or experts. They're for everybody. Um, check out the new uh, MIDI channels here in Bitwig Studio 2.4. Like I say, it's a really, really great enhancement as far as workflow. As far as if you do want to put your, your bass line, your chord progression, your top line melody all in the same MIDI clip, be able to separate between those, be able to play uh, one part and not the other. Using MIDI channels is an excellent way to do it. Also with your drum loops, if you want to put each individual uh, drum hit on a different MIDI channel, it's very easy to, of course, rather than go into the drum cube and mute individual channels, it's much, much easier to actually use the channel filter device. So check it out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for tuning in tonight, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye now.